will begin our installation by installing four slide-on nuts. Be sure to make sure that the circles line up with the holes. If you go past, you might need to use a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and get them lined up. Now we're going to remove the front supports that are in the way of your skid plate. Using your 12 millimeter, go ahead and remove all eight of the bolts and the supports. Now with the cross member cleared out, we can put our backing plates behind these two holes. They are the only ones that are symmetrical and round. Put your backing plate on top of the cross member and make sure it's lined up with the hole. With those in place setting on top of the cross member, we can now lift our skid up into position. Set the side with the slip-on nuts on top of your front skid and then take your half inch carriage bolt and push it through the skid, through the cross member, and through your backing plate. Then install a flat washer and a lock nut. Tighten them up, but leave them loose so they can be adjusted. Next, we're gonna put the four 3 8 bolts in, connecting our transmission skid to our front skid you're going to take a 3 8 bolt, you're going to install a lock washer and then a flat washer, pushing the bolt through the front skid and into the slip-on nuts on your transmission skid plate. Get them all in loosely, align your skid plate, and tighten down all your bolts.